Hi, this is PDF Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial 199. So let's go ahead and open up Unity and we'll open up MonoDevelop. And we had just finished going over in our last video uh, the problem I was having with setting our current value. Uh, we need some way to access our modifying attributes. So since I am planning on making our character static, um, there's a few things I actually want to work out before I do that. I'm actually just going to come up here and I'm going to go right before the enumeration here, or not the enumeration, our little array. And I'm just going to make a private version of our player character. And I'm not actually going to make it static. Mm. Yeah, I can't think of a reason why I'd want to make this static, and I'm actually in the wrong class. So let's get out of that. We'll come in here. And it's right up here. So private player character. And I'm just going to call mine PC. It's equal to new player character. And if I go ahead and actually look, well, my player character inherits from base character. So if I look at my constructor for base character, uh, we have it's setting everything up for us for our attributes. So I'm going to come back here. And we can actually integrate this character into all of our things now. But like I said, since we're going to be doing a change later on, I really don't want to fuss around with it. I just want to use it to get uh, my vitals working. So we'll come down to the bottom. And actually, not quite the bottom. We have to go to the part where it actually loads the vital. And it's right up here. Oh, so that's tribute to load vital. And instead of assigning it to this variable that we're going to return, uh, what we're going to do is assign it to our player, the character that we made. So we should be able to just take all of this. I'm just going to post it up here. Uh, we'll just comment all this part out down here. All right, and the return statement as well. And we'll grab our player character now. So PC. Dot. Get file. Actually, it'll be almost the exact same that we have in here for our attributes. So again, uh, well, yeah, we'll just grab them all. We can actually just grab it from there and change PC class to PC. There we go. And let's just go through and make sure we're not getting CNT, we're getting name. We're not getting, we're not adding that string on. We're actually going to use the constant we created up top. Um, let's see what else we got here. We have to switch this to name. And should be got right here. One more for name. And that should actually be everything. Now we do have to return something here because we have it set up to return, and I still want to keep it that way for now. So what I'm going to do is just say return pc dot uh, we're just actually doing one vital and this is actually in a for loop uh, so we're gonna have to typecast this so vital name uh, we'll have to switch this to int whoops wrong way And we're going to say name. And I'm just going to cut and paste this. And 
And let me see, what else do we need? Uh, that should be it, but we, we should be able to return PC dot, and we're not getting anything from it. Let me just check it up top here. Actually, uh, I believe it's inheriting from model behavior, so we can't do it that way. Correct. And we also have an awake function. Uh, base character name skill attributes. And okay, so we have an awake function. Uh, let's come back into game settings too. You can't create new model behaviors. Uh, in my constructor, I'm going to call PC dot. Oh, well, we do have to make it static. There we go. That's what the problem was. Uh, PC dot. I'm just going to call awake. And then if we come down here, we can just return PC dot vital. Well, I guess get vital. And we're just going to return the whole thing. I believe you return the whole thing. Let me just quickly check again. Make sure get vital returns an actual vital. Um, let's see this is base character. Uh, do we have a get vital here? Which we do. And it returns a vital. So let's go ahead and save this off and we'll see how that works. Let it recompile. I do have an error. Uh, player character does not contain a definition for PC. All right, where's this line? And there we go. We'll just get rid of the little typo. Let it recompile and let's go try it out. So we'll come down to willpower, throw lots into will, I guess we could just dump it all into one stat, it really doesn't matter. And we'll hit next, and we get a null reference, so let's go see where that's coming from. Uh, PC awake. Ah, uh, silly me, I actually forgot to assign what, uh, assign something to this variable. So I will make it public, I'm really not too worried about its about it because we are going to be getting rid of it but if we come to our character generator and I'm going to put it right at the top here uh, right about here and I'm going to say game settings to dot PC is equal to tune and that will save the character we're working on in this scene uh, to the PC variable and of course you could leave there then rework everything. Basically we're taking the implementation that we're using here and using it in this one as well just for that one section until we get around to making it a static. Uh, but let's go ahead, we'll save that and let's go try that out. So it recompiles, no errors. I'll start it up, hit clear, put a name in and I'm just going to give it tons of willpower and almost tons of charisma. So we'll let that go up, hit enter, and we still get a null reference. Let's see what this is doing. Uh, well, we don't need this anymore. When it's calling this at the uh, constructor time, uh, we don't uh, have anything assigned there yet. So we'll go back in, we'll try it one more time. And I'm just going to put it all in the Constitution. And we'll set next. And here we go. It's finally working. All right, so we'll stop that. I want to head back into the scripts just for a bit here, uh, mainly our character generator. Actually, before we do that, I just still want to take a look to see what's being saved out. So we'll open it up. And uh, let me see, base value, yep, everything looks fine to me. So 
going to close that, shrink this back down. I'm going to head into my character generator script. Uh, I'm going to comment out the delete all and then bring back in everything else that's being saved uh, except for skills. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. And let me see. Uh, that's about it for that. Let me go check it out one more time just to be sure everything's working together. So I'll start it up and we'll just do one more run. Uh, let's see if I can hit exactly uh, 60, well, 80 will. Uh, I guess not. And we'll go ahead and increase our constitution up to a lot. 90. And we'll hit go. And since I've canceled all the debugs, we don't actually see anything go here, no matter how many times you hit. But if we close that down, open up our Finder or your registry in Windows, and open the file. In Windows, it's not a file, it's just a registry entry. Uh, but anyway, if we take a look, uh, we'll see all of our attributes and vitals saved in one file, along with our name. Um, let's see. Okay, I was looking at all these 50s and I realized it's um, our, everything starts at 50 for a base stat unless you want to lower it, but that's fine. So yeah, everything seems to be saving just fine. Uh, our next tutorial will go over our skills. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.